Last Friday, I was at the Sinof Confluence. Nearly every speaker, everybody, their third sentence was AI. It was everywhere. AI is this, there's AI that. Of course, it's expected out of a technology conference. And later that evening, a viral video popped up you know, on my feed. It's about AI taking away all these creative jobs, you know, the ones that need extreme talent and years of dedication. Years! It took me years to learn this and now, now anyone can just type a sentence? I'm sorry, Chloe, it's just more efficient this way. The robot makes a perfect cup every time. But I love working here. They don't need me anymore. AI can create stunning visuals now, cheaper too. It's over. Now my camera just gathers dust. A single prompt and the AI creates what took me a lifetime to learn. I used to design logos, websites, you know? Now some program does it in seconds. Is this the end of human creativity as we know it? You know, we are stepping into a completely new era of human history. And they say the shift is similar to when electricity first lit up the whole world. And but you know, the, the, now the pace is at a different level altogether. I came across this data, you know, which literally gave me goosebumps. AI is becoming twice as powerful every three and a half months. After one year, the AI you know, you're using right now will be 16 times more powerful. And after two years, 256 times more powerful. And in just five years, it'll be a million times more powerful than it is right now. Our brains literally cannot imagine like how dramatically our world will change. You know, it's exciting, but it's also scary. Two great minds have publicly warned us about the dangers of AI. Stephen Hawking... The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. There will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. What's interesting is that both these guys are space explorers, right? So anyone thinking about space and things like that, they have a different thinking ability you know, beyond most of us. So there's definitely something to watch out for. Hawking said, AI could spell the end of the human race. So that's not a mild concern. It's a serious warning. I sincerely hope and pray it doesn't come true. So when he says that, and it's the end of the human race, what it means is it's not that AI will drop some nuclear bomb and, you know, will vanish. No, it's something different. Like, I'll give an example. Throughout history, humans passed knowledge and wisdom through stories, oral communication. And remember our you know, Gurukul system where everything was oral. No books, nothing, no notes. They used to listen. And I used to wonder, like, how these people remembered, like, thousands of shlokas and all the scriptures, just pure memory. And then printing came, right? Printing was invented. You know what happened, right? We stopped memorizing things in that level because you have books to refer. You know, Socrates actually said this. He said, like, you know, it will destroy our memory power, you know, when books came. But, you know, we adapted. Like, you know, during our childhood, uh, at least in my generation, we used to remember all these landline numbers, right? Our friends, relatives. But do you remember anything right now? You, know, you remember maybe your own number or maybe your spouse. That's it. Because there's no need to remember anymore. So we lost that skill completely. You know, similarly, AI will cause us to lose some of this you know, human skills, cognitive skills, even something as fundamental as our thinking skills. You know, just 50 years back, nobody went to gyms. You know, they didn't have any gym membership because we naturally moved our bodies, right? Now, our, because of our lifestyle, we hardly move. So we created gyms and things like that to artificially exercise, you know, to move our body. So I'm guessing that, you know, same things could happen to our mind and our brain. You know, we'll go to, like five years from now, we'll go to some mind gyms where we have to exercise our brain 
because brain follows a very simple rule, use it or lose it. So I don't want to scare you more, I want to share a different perspective, uh, a positive one, a spiritual one. If you look at our scriptures, our you know, books, right, mantras, slogans, they, they often mention about siddhis you get, like benefits of chanting a particular mantra, sotra, and things like that. They say, if you do this for a certain number of days, sadhana it's called, you will get specific material benefits. Right? And I used to wonder, like, why these books are giving a lot of importance to material benefits, right? Because they say, okay, chant Sri Suktam and you will never worry about money. Or you recite Lelda Sahasranamam every day and you will gain all these, you know, worldly benefits. And from my own experience, I know it's true, these practices actually work. But, you know, here is the truth. This is what I have realized. When you are material problems are solved, your mind becomes free. Like if you don't have any money problem, if you don't have any health problem, if you don't have any relationship challenges, you have a lot of energy right, to focus on something greater, something better. Or you can actually focus your energy on God or higher purpose, what really matters. So all this boring stuff will be handled you know, separately. So we can explore the deeper meaning of life. And I believe that's what AI can do for us. If AI can handle all this boring, repetitive stuff, we humans can finally focus on what makes us truly human. And that's my optimistic belief. Yes, of course AI will change things. You know, we may lose some skills, thousands of jobs will vanish, and industries will collapse, all those things will happen. But if you look at it, every major transition in human history has led us to something greater, something better. Maybe this is not about AI replacing us. Maybe it's about AI giving us more freedom, more time, right? It may revolutionize a lot of things, like our healthcare systems, may increase our lifespan, may reduce traffic on road, right? It may allow us to explore what truly means to us to be more human. We can spend more time you know, with our people, relationships, spiritual growth, our capacity to love, compassion, all those things. So the question is not about whether AI will change our world. It will. It's already it's changing. The question is, will we use this change to become more human or less human? So we hope and pray we choose to become more human, more connected, more purposeful and more alive. So that's the future you know, I'm rooting for. What about you?